Top 6 Vitamins Every Diabetic Should Take Did you know that managing diabetes isn't just about taking medication? It's also about taking care of your body with the right nutrients. One of the key things that can help are vitamins. While they might not cure diabetes, certain vitamins can make a huge difference in managing blood sugar levels and improving overall health. In this video, we'll go over the top six vitamins that every diabetic should consider taking. These vitamins play important roles in everything from insulin sensitivity to nerve protection. And the best part? They're easy to include in your diet or through supplements. Stick around till the end, and I'll share which vitamins could make a real impact on your diabetes management. Let's dive into the details. Vitamin 1, Vitamin D. Vitamin D is often called the sunshine vitamin because our bodies naturally produce it when exposed to sunlight. However, it's not just sunlight we rely on for vitamin D. It's also found in some foods, such as fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines, egg yolks, and fortified foods like milk and orange juice. Despite its name, vitamin D isn't just a vitamin. It functions as a hormone in the body regulating calcium and phosphorus levels, which are vital for bone health and maintaining a healthy immune system. For people with diabetes, vitamin D is especially important. A significant number of people with type 2 diabetes tend to have lower levels of vitamin D. Research has shown that insufficient vitamin D is linked to insulin resistance, meaning your body becomes less responsive to insulin, which can lead to elevated blood sugar levels. Vitamin D also helps with the proper functioning of the pancreas, where insulin is produced. By supporting insulin production and improving insulin sensitivity, vitamin D plays a critical role in blood sugar management. There's also a connection between vitamin D deficiency and diabetes-related complications. People with low vitamin D levels are more prone to developing conditions like high blood pressure, heart disease, and even diabetic neuropathy, a form of nerve damage that occurs with long-term uncontrolled diabetes. It's not just about blood sugar control. Vitamin D's role in maintaining a healthy cardiovascular system is especially crucial since diabetics are at a higher risk of heart disease. If you're feeling more fatigued than usual, experiencing muscle or bone pain, or even feeling a little down, it could be a sign of vitamin D deficiency. Common signs of low vitamin D include fatigue, aches, and even mood changes like depression. The good news is that boosting your vitamin D levels is relatively easy. Spending 15 to 30 minutes in sunlight each day can stimulate the production of vitamin D in your skin. Foods rich in vitamin D can help too, especially fatty fish like salmon, which is not only a great source of vitamin D, but also heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids. If you're finding it difficult to get enough vitamin D from food or sunlight, a supplement might be necessary. The recommended daily intake for vitamin D varies depending on factors like age, sex, and overall health. But for most adults, 600 to 800 IU per day is sufficient. However, diabetics may need higher doses, so it's always a good idea to consult with your doctor to determine the right amount for your needs. Your doctor may recommend a blood test to check your vitamin D levels and help guide the right supplementation. In summary, vitamin D is a vital nutrient that not only helps with bone health, but also improves insulin sensitivity and blood sugar control in people with diabetes. Ensuring you get enough vitamin D through sunlight food, or supplements can help you better manage your diabetes and reduce your risk of complications. Vitamin 2. Vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is a water-soluble vitamin that plays a crucial role in the formation of red blood cells, nerve function, and DNA synthesis. It's found naturally in animal products like meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and dairy products. Since our bodies don't produce vitamin B12, it must be consumed through food or supplements. While it is often associated with preventing anemia and supporting energy levels, vitamin B12 has a particularly important role for diabetics, especially those taking certain medications like metformin. 
Metformin, a commonly prescribed medication for type 2 diabetes, can reduce the body's ability to absorb vitamin B12 from food, potentially leading to a deficiency over time. Research has shown that people with diabetes who take metformin may have a higher risk of developing B12 deficiency, which can result in nerve damage, fatigue, and even memory issues. Diabetic neuropathy, a condition that causes tingling, numbness, and pain in the hands and feet, is already a major concern for many people with diabetes. A lack of vitamin B12 can exacerbate these nerve problems making proper supplementation crucial for those on metformin. Symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency can range from mild to severe. Early signs may include feelings of fatigue, weakness, and difficulty concentrating. If left untreated, B12 deficiency can lead to numbness and tingling in the extremities, balance problems, and even permanent nerve damage. Since the nerve damage associated with vitamin B, 12 deficiency often overlaps with symptoms of diabetic neuropathy. It's important to address it as soon as possible. The good news is that getting enough vitamin B12 is relatively simple, especially for those who consume animal products. Beef, fish, poultry, eggs, and dairy products are excellent sources of vitamin B12. For those who follow a vegetarian or vegan diet, B12 supplements are usually recommended, as plant-based foods do not naturally contain B12. If you're concerned about a B12 deficiency, it's always a good idea to ask your doctor to check your levels. Your doctor may suggest a blood test to determine whether you need to supplement with vitamin B12. If you are taking metformin or experiencing any symptoms of B12 deficiency, don't hesitate to talk to your healthcare provider about increasing your intake. Vitamin B12 supplementation can help prevent nerve damage, boost energy levels, and improve your overall well-being, making it an essential vitamin in your diabetes management routine. Vitamin 3. Vitamin C. Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is one of the most well-known vitamins, largely due to its immune-boosting properties. It's an essential water-soluble vitamin that acts as a powerful antioxidant, protecting the body cells from oxidative stress and damage caused by free radicals. For diabetics, oxidative stress is a significant concern as high blood sugar levels can increase the number of free radicals in the body, leading to chronic inflammation and damage to cells and tissues. What makes vitamin C especially valuable for people with diabetes is its ability to help improve blood sugar control and reduce oxidative damage. Studies have shown that vitamin C may help lower blood sugar levels, improve insulin sensitivity, and even protect against diabetes-related complications, such as heart disease and diabetic retinopathy, damage to the eyes. Because oxidative stress plays a large role in the development of these complications, vitamin C's antioxidant properties are crucial for diabetics. Aside from improving blood sugar control, vitamin C is also essential for the repair of tissues and the healing of wounds. Diabetics often experience slower wound healing, which is why vitamin C is so beneficial. It aids in collagen formation, which is crucial for wound repair. Vitamin C also supports the immune system, making it easier to fight off infections. Another concern for people with diabetes, who are more prone to infections due to poor circulation and high blood sugar. Deficiency in vitamin C can lead to a variety of symptoms, including fatigue, muscle weakness, and joint pain. The most severe form of deficiency is scurvy, which can cause swollen and bleeding gums, loose teeth, and poor wound healing. Fortunately, vitamin C deficiency is rare in developed countries as it's found in many fruits and vegetables, particularly citrus fruits like oranges, grapefruits, and lemons. Strawberries, bell peppers, broccoli, and spinach are also excellent sources of vitamin C. For diabetics, it's important to consume enough vitamin C, either through food or supplementation. While most people can get their recommended daily intake from a balanced diet, 
Some individuals may benefit from a supplement, especially if they have difficulty eating enough fresh fruits and vegetables. A typical dose of vitamin C for adults is 75 to 90 mg per day, but higher doses may be recommended for diabetics to help manage oxidative stress and improve overall blood sugar control. Vitamin 4. Vitamin E. Vitamin E is another powerful antioxidant that helps protect the body from oxidative stress and damage. It plays an essential role in maintaining healthy skin eyes, and immune function. As an antioxidant, vitamin E helps neutralize free radicals in the body, preventing cellular damage. This is especially important for diabetics, as high blood sugar levels can lead to increased oxidative stress, which contributes to complications such as heart disease, kidney disease, and nerve damage. For diabetics, vitamin E has another critical benefit it helps improve insulin sensitivity. Studies have shown that vitamin E supplementation can help reduce blood sugar levels and enhance the body's response to insulin. This makes vitamin E an essential nutrient for managing blood sugar and preventing the long-term complications of diabetes, such as cardiovascular problems. Vitamin E also helps protect against diabetic neuropathy, a common complication of diabetes that affects the nerves, particularly in the feet and hands. The antioxidant properties of vitamin E help prevent oxidative damage to the nerves, reducing the risk of nerve pain, tingling, and numbness. This makes it an important supplement for those who are already dealing with or are at risk for neuropathy. A deficiency in vitamin E can cause symptoms such as muscle weakness, vision problems, and a weakened immune system. Luckily, it's relatively easy to get enough vitamin E from your diet. Foods like almonds, sunflower seeds, spinach, and avocados are all excellent sources of vitamin E. Most people can meet their daily vitamin E needs through food alone, but supplementation can be beneficial for diabetics who are at risk for deficiency or want to improve insulin sensitivity. For diabetics, it's important to talk to your healthcare provider about the right dose of vitamin E. While it's typically safe to get vitamin E from food sources, high-dose supplements should be taken with caution, as too much vitamin E can cause issues such as increased risk of bleeding. Vitamin 5. Folate. Vitamin B9. Folate, also known as vitamin B9, is a water-soluble vitamin that is crucial for many bodily functions, including the production of red blood cells, DNA synthesis, and cell growth. It's particularly important during times of rapid cell division and growth, such as pregnancy. But for diabetics, folate plays another key role. It helps maintain cardiovascular health, which is particularly significant since diabetes increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. People with diabetes are often at a higher risk of developing elevated homocysteine levels, an amino acid that, at high levels, can damage blood vessels and increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. Folate helps to lower homocysteine levels, thus supporting better heart health. By ensuring proper folate levels, diabetics can reduce their risk of developing heart-related complications. Additionally, folate works alongside vitamin B12 to help improve insulin sensitivity and optimize blood sugar control. Studies suggest that low folate levels are associated with poor blood sugar regulation, which makes it important for those with diabetes to maintain adequate levels of this nutrient. Folate deficiency can lead to symptoms like fatigue, irritability, weakness, and difficulty concentrating. In severe cases, it may cause anemia, a condition in which the body doesn't produce enough healthy red blood cells. This can worsen the fatigue and weakness associated with diabetes. Folate is naturally found in a variety of foods, especially leafy greens like spinach, kale, and turnip greens, as well as beans, lentils, and fortified cereals. It's also present in foods like asparagus, beets, and citrus fruits. For people with diabetes, it's especially important to consume these folate-rich foods regularly. 
pregnant women are often encouraged to take folate supplements to prevent birth defects. But for those with diabetes, a steady supply of folate is equally important for overall health and blood sugar management. While folate deficiency is relatively rare in developed countries, it's still something to be mindful of, especially if you have a limited diet or struggle with nutrient absorption. Taking folate in the form of supplements can be considered if you have trouble getting enough from your diet, but always consult your healthcare provider before starting any new supplements. Folate is typically safe, but it's essential not to exceed the recommended daily intake, as too much folate can interfere with the absorption of other important B vitamins, particularly vitamin B12. Vitamin 6. Magnesium Magnesium is a mineral that plays a role in over 300 biochemical reactions in the body. It's essential for maintaining healthy muscle and nerve function, supporting a healthy immune system, and regulating blood sugar levels. Magnesium is particularly important for diabetics because it helps improve insulin sensitivity. Studies show that magnesium deficiency is common among people with diabetes, and it can exacerbate insulin resistance, making blood sugar management more difficult. In fact, magnesium has been shown to help regulate blood sugar levels by improving the way the body responds to insulin. For people with type 2 diabetes, ensuring adequate magnesium intake is crucial because it may help to prevent the condition from worsening and improve overall blood sugar control. Magnesium also supports the cardiovascular system by helping to regulate blood pressure, which is an important factor to monitor for diabetics, as high blood pressure is a common complication of diabetes. In addition to helping with insulin sensitivity and blood sugar regulation, magnesium also supports bone health by contributing to bone mineralization. It works in conjunction with vitamin D to help maintain bone strength which is vital for individuals with diabetes, who may be at higher risk for osteoporosis and fractures. Deficiency in magnesium can cause symptoms like muscle cramps, fatigue, irritability, and weakness. It can also contribute to high blood pressure, which is another reason it's crucial for people with diabetes to keep magnesium levels in check. Magnesium is found in a variety of foods, including green leafy vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains, and legumes. For those who struggle to get enough magnesium through their diet, supplements are widely available. Magnesium supplements can be very effective for diabetics who are magnesium deficient, but it's important to talk to your healthcare provider about the right dosage, as excessive magnesium supplementation can lead to side effects such as diarrhea, nausea, or low blood pressure. So in short, Vitamins like vitamin D, B12, C, E, folate, and magnesium play key roles in supporting better blood sugar control, boosting heart health, preventing nerve damage, and lowering the risk of complications. The great news is that by ensuring you get enough of these essential vitamins, you can help take control of your health and live a more balanced, vibrant life. But here's the thing. Vitamins alone aren't the magic bullet. They work best when combined with a healthy diet, regular exercise, and your diabetes management plan. That's why it's so important to talk to your doctor about your specific needs and how you can incorporate these nutrients into your routine, whether through food, supplements, or a mix of both. Now, I want to hear from you. What changes are you planning to make in your routine after learning about these vitamins? Do you already take any of these? Or are there any you're curious to try? Drop a comment below and let's chat about how we can all support each other in managing our health. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more health tips and insights. And remember, managing diabetes is a journey, but with the right tools and knowledge, we can all make the path a little easier. Take care and see you in the next